What just happened for the sake of the people who might be viewing this tape is we just had a very angry policeman come to visit us telling us that we shouldn't be screaming outside and that we have to scream into a pillow, which is an interesting rule that he's now just made for us, which I'm sure we'll be addressing at some point in the future. And my suggestion, though, in this case, is all we need to do is just probably call some of the neighbours and find out which ones of them got upset about it and just tell them all occasionally, once every month that's around about, there may be some people screaming at this place. Yeah. And, uh, and we're allowed to, it's Peter's property and he's okay with that sort of thing. But isn't that so interesting? Yeah, yeah but well, there could be somebody back in and killed somebody and, and they were yeah. just worried. Okay, okay, yeah. don't worry. Uh, and they all call the police and that's yeah. all. Yeah, yeah, so interesting. And they get angry because they got called for nothing. Yeah. Exactly, that's why he was angry, he just got called for nothing. He was having a barbie. <laughs> <laughs> he might have been having sex with his wife. He's going to watch this tape one day. <laughs> yeah, but can you see too that um, the free expression of your emotions in the environment we live in today is just... It, it's automatically assumed to be bad. Yeah. Automatically assumed to be bad. Because and that is something that badly needs to change on this planet. Badly needs to change. But if you're the neighbour and you think some dangerous thing, if you're the neighbour, you need to first feel your emotion <laughs> about the all law of attraction, which is somebody screaming and this terrible fear you feel. So connect to that first, right? Then wouldn't the most logical thing do to give Peter a call if you were in love? You'd give Peter a call and say, you know, is there a problem there? Second piece. All right? But no, that, these are the most logical things to do, are they not if you're in love? Then if Peter didn't answer the phone and you know and you had you came down and visited, like why wouldn't you come and visit the place if you're a neighbour? Because you're afraid. Right? So what you would do is you go and visit your neighbour. If you were concerned, you go and visit your neighbour and say, I just heard someone screaming, is everything alright? Right? And if they said, oh, yeah, no, this is the explanation, or someone's still screaming, you'll be able to see that quite easily. And you'll be able to all just get resolved without even having to bother the poor policeman, right? So him being involved was just a factor of somebody's fear and somebody's lack of love. In the end, one of the neighbours is afraid and also has a lack of love towards others. Because if they had a, didn't have a lack of love, they would have firstly just approached Peter and tried to find out what the problem was. And they'll find out soon enough. But obviously sometimes the neighbours are actually angry too. So what do they want to do instead? They want to stir up a bit of trouble. They want to make sure, you know, and so there's a lot of different alternative solutions for their, in their mind, you know. Or if they're afraid, what are they going to feel? Something bad's happening here, you know, and, and, and not feel their own fear and just go into it. So I agree, yes, if someone's screaming, find out, but but how do you do it in love? There's a lot of things you can do besides calling someone with authority to come and tell somebody to scream into a pillow. Yeah. But with a little bit of <coughs> foresight, if the person who was expressing their emotions could have held it, just like they might do if they had to go to the toilet. What are you suggesting? Oh, well, they, we've, no. got, we've got four bedrooms in the house. No. Wouldn't it be better for them to do Sure, that? go into the four bedrooms, but they don't know. None of the people here have been told you're allowed to go into other bedrooms to process an emotion. That's why yeah. I'm bringing it up now. No worries. <laughs> but but no, do not hold on to an emotion. Do not hold on to emotions. You hold on to emotions, all you do is suppress them. And you know the suppression creates another layer on top of it, and now you'll find it doubly hard to access later on. Do not hold on to your emotions. So I know that's a you know it's a really important thing to learn that every single time you hold on to an emotion you are just placing another layer on top of the emotion and it's going to be so much more difficult to access that emotion at another time. <coughs>